Kaz is looking good, but we need to add a shadow so he's not floating in air. I make a duplicate layer and then I fill, uh, I select just Taz and fill him with black. Then I'm going to add a motion blur to that layer. And he's going to see he's going to get kind of fuzzy and I can adjust the fuzziness. Now this is a shadow layer, so I need to flip it vertically. And then drag my other layer on top, turn it back on. Now I want to grab the warp tool. I'm going to go over and use the warp tool to position that shadow where I want it. If you're a Photoshop user and you haven't played around with the warp tool, you need to. It's very cool. Let you tug and pull. It's a very fluid tool. Very easy to manipulate uh, stuff with this and warp things. So there you have it. The warp tool is getting him into place and hit return. Now it's looking good, but it's kind of heavy. So what I need to do now is go into layer effects. I'm going to choose multiply and I'm going to reduce my opacity. So there you have it. He's looking more like he's grounded. He's not just floating on all that color. So my next step will be to um, try to show my client a variety of backgrounds. And to do that, I'll go into my backgrounds folder. Over the years, I have created a lot of different backgrounds from scratch. And these aren't clip art backgrounds. These aren't things you get off the web or out of a book. I've just kind of created them with different methods. And um, each time I use them, I try to put a new spin on it. Um, some are exactly the same from time to time, but sometimes I try to play with the colors and do different stuff. And I'll show you an example of that. I'm going to pick this background that's pink and red or purple and red, and he's a, it's a little strong for Taz. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and size it, transform it into space, into the place. Now with my magic wand tool, I'm just going to select the red and uh, select all the red and delete it. Now I have just the pattern and still, still too strong. So I go into the layers effects again, change the effects. I try difference, exclusion, overlaying, try a variety of things. And um, again, reducing the opacity on it. It's looking good, but still not there. So I can grab uh, my eraser tool and I'm going to go grab a, a funky brush and set it to erase. And I'm going to reduce the opacity on that eraser tool. So I'm erasing some of it, but not all of it. <clears throat> and it's looking better. So we're getting there. <laughs> it's getting to, to look kind of natural. Now I'm going to drag that down. Um, that layer is kind of way at the top. I'm going to drag that layer down and merge it on top of the um, turquoise and red layer uh, that is more solid. And then once I've merged those two layers, I'm going to go into my filters and I'm going to choose dry brush. And there's a bunch of different ones I could try, but I really like dry brush a lot. I use it a lot on stuff and it gives it just a little bit more texture. So there you have it. There's uh, I could keep going though. Might not be done yet. Might decide to change the colors instead of having it be aqua. I can make it green or blue or, or purple, kind of yellow, you know, and I'm using replace color to do that. So I go in with my eyedropper tool and I just selected the turquoise and now I'm sliding things around and just playing around again, just trying different things. And this is just one ground that I've tried this on and I'll try this on maybe a dozen other grounds until I have a good selection to show my client of things that I like. And, um, you want to be careful not to show your client something you don't like, because sometimes that's the one they'll pick. So anyway, but yeah, it's looking good. And, um, again, we're, we're almost there. The other thing I'll probably show my client is just a head and shoulders, uh, option where I uh, race the body and I, I kind of extend the, the shoulder and neck area and have kind of a bust shot. So anyway, thanks for watching the progress on this. And, um, and I will check in with you soon. I'm Rebecca Collins and it's artpaw.com. So check me out online and thanks.